We are still in lockdown, so my big day out again was at the supermarket. I only went to the supermarket a few days ago. I'm very, very bored. The only place I can go legally, really, um, according to the government, is for necessities, and that's at the supermarket. So I guess I really did need a few things. <laughs> got some eggs. I got 20 free range eggs. I never buy caged eggs because I feel really bad for the chickens. I was a vegan and vegetarian for a while. I'm thinking about going back to being vegetarian or at least like pescatarian because I did feel real good on that diet. I mean lifestyle. I guess like vegetarians do have eggs, do they? Hmm, I did it for so long and I don't really know the guidelines. I'm not really a follower. I always do just what I feel is best for me. I think they do have eggs, don't they? There's like two so two types. One where the vegetarians have eggs and one's where they don't have eggs and there's special names and stuff like that. Almond milk. And the reason I got almond milk instead of normal milk, I don't drink much dairy even though I really like it. But because I am thinking of going back to my probably pescatarian lifestyle or something, I thought that I would start, may consider giving up dairy. I don't know, just when I drank milk, I had like less inflammation and I get really sore of calf, calf muscles when I walk. And I found that when I was vegetarian, that I didn't get that pain anymore when I walked. Like it was so bad that I had to stop. Like I'd be walking, 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 and then I would just have to stop and like stretch. And it was very, very painful, even just really short walks. Uh, and I was thinking like, at my age, I shouldn't be having this kind of pain. And then I noticed like when I moved to Australia and then I like went all like, vegetarian and st stop drinking milk and stuff like that that it would be really good but then I started having more dairy again and having like chocolate and things like that my calf muscles started getting sore so I think it's milk and I don't really drink lots of milk anyway but I got almond milk um, and the reason why is because I got some Nutrigrain well it's not really Nutrigrain it's multigrain it's the home brand stuff and you get more value for money with this stuff than the Nutrigrain. Like, I love Nutrigrain, but <laughs> how many times have I seen Nutrigrain? It's much more expensive, and I only really get it when it's on special, whereas this is always pretty much the same price. It's like $5, and you get heaps. The way I eat it doesn't last very long. Um, and like, I don't really have much cereal anyway. It's not something I eat on a regular basis. I'd rather just have like eggs and something for breakfast. I've been missing out on coffee so so much like, I really just want a really good flat white like people are like what are you gonna do when you come out of lockdown that's where I have my milk and my flat whites I was just speaking for ages and realized that when my alarm went off with the affirmation that <laughs> it wasn't even filming me anymore after that and I kept on talking so I got these um Nescafe vanilla latte I've never tried it but I'm dying for a really good coffee and I know I said I'm not going to drink milk much but I generally if I am going to break the no milk rule then I will have it in my coffee this doesn't require milk it's like in part of the sachet I don't have high hopes for it I've got these before not this brand but Lots of them that I've tried, I haven't really liked them. They're just never as good as Barista Coffee. And I got some peppermint tea because I'm running out of tea. And this is nice and minty, pepperminty. It breaks up the caffeine too because I just love drinking coffee. Can you not tell how much I like coffee? I tend to drink too much. Um, I've gone from like one to two a day and two is too much for me. <laughs> when I say I drink too much coffee, a second cup of coffee during the day is too much for me. It makes me jittery and anxious and I don't like that feeling. Yeah, so I thought tea will kind of break it up because it just feels like a treat to me. It feels like just having that nice hot cup of coffee, something I look forward to and I like the smell and all of that. But I also really love the smell of peppermint and it's also hot. It's not coffee, but I think this will be, it might not be that treat feeling that I want, but it will be something that I'll enjoy. And a snack that I got, which I'm gonna eat very soon, is this caramel. Um, they're like, what are they called? 
TikTok trumpets. It's similar to a trumpet. I actually like these a little bit more than a trumpet if I'm correct in the ones that I got last time. And I really like them because I've got like more like caramel and stuff inside the scent and it's really, really yum. The reason I actually went to the store is to get pizza and I got everything else. And this was the only pizza they had left out of this range obviously i should be a sponsor for the countdown home brand mm. this is the flavor that i got mediterranean and we'll see how it goes uh the total came to oh yes with the pizza as well i don't have an oven so i'm gonna try cook it in the pan and see how it comes out we did it before when we were in rotorua and it actually came out nice but we had one of those like external pan fry pans that with a lid on it. Um, I've just got like a little fry pan. I pretty much live like I'm camping every day. So the total came to $33.20 and with my one card, I saved $4.33. Cool. <laughs>